Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And today, I want to start the Nikon story. That's right, fuckers, the Nikon story. And prior to World War II, Nikon was basically an optics company. They made um, optics lenses for, uh, for military and uh, civilian applications. Now, after World War II, after World War II, the... Um, the Americans and uh, the, you know the, the current at the time they couldn't keep making um, bomb scopes, could they? They had to go and make make something unique. They had to make something for civilian population. And uh, what a great idea then to uh, go into camera production. So you know you've got to hand it to the Japanese. They are they may not be the most original. But they link up ideas. And uh, just like in, you know, you look at British sports cars. What is the top selling sports car in the world? It's the Mazda Miata, the MX-5. And uh, it's basically, it's loosely based on a Lotus Elan. And the truth is that it's a lot better than an Elan. Because the Elan itself, it fucking leaked. It was fucking unreliable. And the Japanese, I mean, the British could never make the fucking thing work properly, but the Japanese pasted it together. Very, very well done indeed. And uh, with cameras, it's no different. Two cameras were the inspiration for the first Nikon. There's the Zeiss, there's Carl Zeiss contacts. And on the screen here, there's a 1939 Zeiss icon. And there's also the other piece of inspiration is a Leica. That's right, fuckers. It's, this is a Leica. This is the one on the screen. The Leica is a 1949 Leica. And uh, what, what happened was the, the Japanese themselves there, they, they weren't 100% happy with both cameras. They, um, on the Zeiss contacts, they liked the body. But they didn't like the rangefinder or the shutter. And on the Leica, they really liked the rangefinder and the shutter. So, you know, what better way, you know, I think a modern term for this, you would call it fusion. That's right, fuckers, fusion. So that they decided to uh to uh you I, I wouldn't say copy, because I don't think that's um, I don't think that's the right word to use because th they 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 did a lot more than just duplicate it. They perfected it. They got the fucker to work correctly, and um, it's that attention to detail which really sets them apart from just copying it like the Chinese would to actually perfecting it like the Japanese do. So um, it's with that said there. The, uh, they borrowed. They borrowed from both of these cameras. They borrowed from the Zeiss contacts. It was the Zeiss icon, and uh, this led to some um, trademark issues in Germany, which they had to name the Nikon, the Nikko, slightly differently because of um, the Germans are a bit of an angry fuckers. You know, they, they, they've got no sense of humour. They, um, they, they don't really. They're not the most understanding, you know, the, the, the Germans are a bit, how would you put it, they're a bit German, that's probably the best way to, um, to put it there. So, so they, they, they weren't terribly impressed with uh, Japan borrowing their intellectual property and only using, I, I don't know, I think the, probably the biggest problem was that the, the Krauts, didn't like the fact that they only used half the technology and borrowed the other half from somewhere else. I mean, you can imagine these Germans fucking arguing about this sort of shit. And uh, I, 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 you know, the thing that, that always, why didn't the Germans sit down together, Carl Zeiss and Leica, sit down together and say, let's, let's make a camera together? No, they're too fucking proud. Too fucking proud. And um, the Japs came in 
and uh, swiped it from those fuckers. That's all I can say. That's what they did. That's what they did. And uh, the rest is fucking history. It, um, yep, this is, this is where the basics came from. So, um, it's a very, very interesting story here. So, let's continue. This is, this is episode one. And uh, we're looking at Nikon, the fabulous, the fabulous camera company. And we're looking at their their range of wonderful cameras. So uh, let's let's keep keep focusing on this, fuckers. Okay, please stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>